question that I most asked is, um, what is it? It's a mark in the sand. One day I discovered that it was uh, possible to make a mark on the beach and, and to uh, do something that was, it seemed so, um, so physical and also transitory at the same time. It's just a, it's, it's a, it's an environment that has an enormous amount of freedom and also, the, also has restrictions. I always, I always look for a sick on the beach that I go to and I like it to be about, about my height or slightly, slightly uh, shorter. Just like if you had a dance partner. The first thing that we, when we began this discussion with Jim, I asked him what are his requirements to make the drawings look as good as they can be. We had to find a location that was private where we can have a great light that accentuates the uh, work of uh, the artist. Uh, on top of that, um, we're having to factor in the concerns of, uh, of the, the weather and the tides. It's been quite a challenge. I think I find design really interesting. There's emotional reactions to, to curves and, and um, volume, mass, and things like that. And, um, and the Range Rover is a design vehicle. Well, the composition involves the Range Rover, the cliff, the spiral, the ocean, the curve of the waves. It is drawn in a way that it can be seen from, from all different um, vantages, from directly above to far away to on the cliff to on the shore. But it, it, has, it is also composed to be seen from this specific spot. There will never be another drawing like this one. The drawings are not, are not uh, composed ahead of time. One part of drawing in the sand that's really great is that no matter what I do, no matter how big it is, I, got, I have a completely clean sheet of paper, meaning a, a completely clean strip of sand that I can return to every day. And that's, there's an incredible freedom in that, in that kind of artwork. And then afterwards I'll go surfing. The Range Rover for 2007, designed for the extraordinary.